All right, we're live. We're horned up. It is Thursday. Welcome. It, Welcome to the show, everybody. It is Thursday. We are three weeks from the draft, 21 days. Whatever sounds shorter to you, go with that one. It's a glorious time to be a Vikings fan. It's always a glorious time to be a Vikings fan, but extra mm. glorious now. Uh, we got Girth, Ashley, Skin Pie, Monomini, Viking Funeral, Richard, Dan. Good to see everybody. We'll uh, give it a little bit here. Let people trickle in. Yeah, trickle in just like my last urinar. Trickled? Not coming out with force? No, it was force. I was in a hurry. Probably didn't shake well enough. Prostate is unwell. For half of it. No, I had a good I had a good exam, a good report last time I got checked. I've never had that checked. They've never done it. No, it, it was a blood one. They didn't they didn't do it. They didn't actually penetrate me. Oh, wow. That's lame. <laughs> I'm sorry, next time I'll go in there, I'll ask for the penetration. I'm just saying I was just picturing something different. And yes, I'm upset. You sound very upset that I didn't get a finger up me. All right. So yeah, there's a lot to talk about. I mean, obviously, every day it goes on, there's always a new Vikings draft rumor. We're going to talk definitely today about the one that came out regarding Michael Penix Jr., which is very, very intriguing. Uh, one bar is going to play a game. Someone's going to come on and sponsor him. If one bar wins, uh, you will get a wonderful, wonderful gift. Obviously, there'll be some who'd you do tonight as well. Uh, so, yeah, just some fun stuff on the old agenda today. The old agenda. Let's go, baby. Dirk Diggler in the house. Purple and gold. Good to see you, man. And uh, speaking of three weeks, three weeks from right now, we'll be doing our draft tailgate party. It'll be in full force. Probably about, what, six, eight beers in already at that point. Just tossing them Well, I mean, down. we're starting at five. So it'll be 523. So I, yeah, I'd say a four pack. Lupagus mm-hmm. is going to hop off or a little uh, before seven. And then uh, myself and the Purple Persuasion are going to take oh. her home. Uh, we're going to be uh, watching the full first round, having a blast. Uh, so be sure to get your butts on. Let's do it. Maybe you'll call him Purple Persuasion Ray. I guess I'm, something tells me I'm going to be calling him everything that evening. <laughs> uh knack is in the house old q-tip up the tip, up the tip. i've heard about that uh my brother had that done norse clee dog clee dog that's Good a new face God, can it be draft week already absolutely yeah, no Klee shit dog. dog no shit Alyssa in hey, the Alyssa. house as always Good to see her trapper buck trapper fired buck. up from our brand new shiny quarterback yeah three weeks from now we will have a new quarterback maybe michael boswell in the build house. it, build it. They build the O line. Michael Boswell will come. Uh, let's see. T Bass tried to get up. Paxton Lynch decided it was too much draft capital. Okay, that's random. Um, Why does he got to bring everybody down immediately with his comments? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's a fact. They they did try to trade up. They wanted Paxton Lynch. Uh, they still gave up. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's always, um, it, th- this is why, like, T-Bass has got a point. I mean, we don't know what J.J., he's he's not a J.J. McCarthy guy. But, but like, it's easy right now to say that it was stupid for the Paxton Lynch thing because we already know what happened. Like, well, it's easy forget. to say. So, you got to, you, you, it's just, it's just. Let's not forget, the way he was turning an argument last week, if Paxton Lynch would have gone to Kansas City, he probably would have been Pat Mahomes. That was kind of his angle, too, so. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Tedward in the house. Good to see you. Oh, Ted. Lord Duncan, oh, our man. Duncan. If you haven't, go uh, subscribe to Lord Duncan's Rock and World. He just had Viking Funeral on, mm. which is a wonderful show. I watched that. Hell, yeah. Why would you not? A couple of good-looking gentlemen talking about life. Paxton Duncan. Lynch. I wanted him. Loved him. Really? Did you? I mean, I liked him. I thought he was a good quarterback. He, then? he fell. He fell quite a bit. Is he Memphis? Is that where he went to school? Yes, sir. God, what a shitty football player. T Bass, it's it means it's okay to want a quarterback, but don't overreach. There's always next year. And if they did overreach, they wouldn't have Chris the dingus. Still. T Bass, we already know what happened though. Like it's easy to look at that now and say, oh, they got Chris Jones. There's there's been plenty of teams that have traded up and given up the house and gotten a very good quarterback. I mean, the Chiefs traded up 
But I mean, next year I feel Mahomes. like T Bass would be saying the same thing. He doesn't want us to take a quarterback. He never wants to take a quarterback. He wants Sam Darnold. I don't know. Vikings I don't get have it. Never taken a top ten quarterback ever. Let's do it. And guess. It, oh, hold on. Here's my take. The Vikings have never taken a top ten quarterback. They've never won the Super Bowl. Maybe they need to take a top ten quarterback. They've Maybe never those done two it. Things are related. They've never done it. Just Ponder, like the women Ponder and Culpepper were the closest thing beds. to a top ten quarterback. We've never done it. So it's waiting time. for a quarterback, not giving up the house for a quarterback, has not worked. Mm. Penix is our man, says Trapper Buck. Penix, Penix, Penix. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I mean, they got it right. I don't know. Whatever. Go got her, we got her. We'll give her another minute, and then we're we're diving balls deep. Let's go. All right, T Bass. He doesn't want to give want them to give away three first round picks. I don't. I don't like I the idea of getting up three first round picks for McCarthy, but I'll be I'll, I'll get over it quickly. I'll get over. Uh, yeah, I'll be over it in a second. Uh, and nobody knows what's going to happen with him. He might suck. It's so we. I just saw a not. new angle today that I thought was interesting. Mm-hmm. Um. It was some analyst. He said, uh, if J.J. McCarthy was on LSU and, J- and Jaden Daniels was in Michigan, I mean, those roles would be reversed. So, And I think it's actually kind of valid, too. Yeah, it's super valid. I mean, you can't look at college quarterback stats. Look at Josh Allen's stats. When uh, The year he got drafted, he had, like, what, 21 touchdowns and, like, 15 interceptions, and his completion percentage was shit. That was Wyoming. Yeah. He's playing for Wyoming. What I say? No, I'm just saying he he played for. Oh, Gross I'm Gross. just saying, like, yeah. I mean, if anything, those numbers should have been inflated. So at Wyoming, gross numbers, but he had all the intangibles. He did everything. Yeah. I mean, he had everything. So like, who gives a shit about the stats? Stats aren't everything. They're not, but they're nice to have. If they too. were, if they were, every Case Keenum would have uh, been the first overall pick. So Pretty sure he set every record. So who was the other Brennan, Texas Tech guy? Colt Brennan, RIP. Why well, he had some stats? There was a Texas Tech guy before, or uh, Houston. Case Keenan went to Houston, but God, who's the Texas Tech dude? He had like sixty touchdowns. I'm trying to think. Ah, oh, what's his name? Hmm. Anybody knows in the comments? Uh, who? What Texas Tech quarterback? Graham Harrell. Is- Graham Harrell. Oh, fucking Graham Harrell. Graham. Sixty touchdowns. What do you put on graham crackers? You just eat them plain, or you put peanut butter or butter? What do you put on? You ever had peanut butter on a graham cracker? I put cracker? s'mores on them, marshmallows and chocolate. Moo! You put uh, put peanut Bo-shooter. butter on it. Put peanut butter on a graham cracker, your dick will fall off. It's so good. It's so good. No, I like uh, nope, marshmallows yep. and chocolate. <laughs> Ashley's in the house already reaching for those likes. Let's go hit wow. that like button. Uh, let's do it. Let's start talking some freaking Vikings. Nobody gives a shit about graham crackers. Uh, let's jump into it. Let's jump in some league news that has a little bit of Vikings ties to it. Stephon Diggs was traded to the Texans, and wouldn't you know, wouldn't you know it, one of the picks uh, in that deal was the Vikings pick they traded to the Texans. Um, so, again, Stephon Diggs. The diva moving on. Vikings still tied to that little bit, and now the Jefferson trade has a little bit of a different perspective to it. I think most people kind of saw it as a dead even deal. I think this changes it a little bit. What was a dead even deal? The the Diggs and Jefferson trade. <laughs> How the hell is that dead even? They both got very good receivers. No, that wasn't dead even. That wasn't even close. We have a twenty four year old receiver, and now that's already that way better than Diggs. Well, I'm just saying. I, I'm like, sorry. They got a pr- they got a productive ball. receiver. We got a rookie sensation. It worked out for both teams. It but didn't now work the, out Bills for the Bills got them for what three? They had them for three years. That's the end it of it. It did not work out for the Bills. They didn't win a Super Bowl, and now they traded them for a second round pick. Next uh, year, Del- too. Delton nailed it. Diggs can eat my ass, and he can eat my ass too. He can, can he have some forward. of Delton's ice cream? Uh, you know what? I'm starting. To- it's too bad. Diggs is so good. He was so good in Minnesota. The trade worked out so good for the Vikings. Uh, it, it, there's very rare, very rare occurrence where a trade works out so damn good for the other team. They get a superstar in Jefferson and to get rid of a guy like Diggs, who is clearly a, 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 a team cancer, whatever. I mean, the Bills aren't moving on from him just to move on from him. They just want to be done with him. 
Yeah, and it starts. He always starts it with this these cryptic tweets, and it, it, and then just seems to kind of roll down a hill, snowball gets bigger and bigger, and sure enough, just like his and hog. Now, and now he's traded, and uh, yeah, I just the Vikings definitely won that trade. Now there's no doubt about it. Uh, if there's any question before that is over, um, Vikings winning that deal for sure. And Diggs, I mean, he looks good in the Texans uniform, and C.J. Stroud, him, uh, what's, what's the Tank Dell, and who's the other guy? Nico, Nico Collins? Collins, baby. Nice, the Texans nice are going to be man. Texans are going to be fucking good. But did you Super see it now? So they reworked his contract. So they only really have him for one year. He's a free agent after the year. So but he'll probably want to get traded anyways. He that's exactly. So maybe they're just going all in this year. They are. The Texans are going to be damn. They're going to be a fun team to watch. Holy shit! I, I mean, I, I forgot they got Joe Mixon. I mean, they are going to be so good. Well yeah, done. Now Texans. you got you got Case Keenum, Stephon Diggs, and Daniel Hunter all reunited. Beautiful, it is beautiful. beautiful. Uh, all right, we got some other news here. We got DraftKings Sportsbook released the win totals for the NFL, and here is what they projected for the NFC North. Are you ready? You scared? I'm always scared. All right, we got the Lions at 10 and a half, Packers also at 10 and a half, Bears at eight and a half, and our Vikings coming in dead last with six and a half. Is that fair? Let's listen to the comments. Is yeah, that fair? What do comments. you guys think of that? Lions and Packers at 10.5. Bears at 8.5. Vikings 6.5. Win totals. It's Alyssa, all coming back. It's, it's all coming. I speaking, know. Of, speaking of being scared, I'm a middle-aged man, and uh, even in the middle of the night, when I have to go downstairs in the mm-hmm. dark and get something out of the fridge, maybe take a big old gulp of milk or something. I, I, I drink it, milk. It's... Uh, Still scary to walk up those stairs back up, and somebody's gonna be after me. So you're you're scared, like not what you're gonna see when you get down there. You're scared on the way on up. the way back up, way like back this, up. Like this ghostly finger is gonna penetrate yeah, you. Something's gonna happen. Wow. Wow. It's gonna wow. happen. Oh uh, wow! What's the line, Delton? We got uh, Lions at ten and a half, Packers at ten and a half, Bears at eight and a half, Vikings at six and a half. I got a, I got a very large issue with this. Yeah, I think I might know what it is. Viking Funerals, he thinks we're probably eight or nine win team next year. Lord Duncan, this next year doesn't matter. It's hanging there and get. I, I like uh, Lord Duncan. Ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. This year's kind of like just a bonus year. Like if we play well, awesome. But next year is where we're blowing our load all over for agency. They're going to be dripping with man juice. Scolder soup is trying to be Ashley right now. He's asking for more likes, and we appreciate that. We appreciate Let's go, that. baby. Let's get some likes. Hit those likes up. Scold your soup. Good to see you, buddy. Goes in that parking lot. Always good to see him. Hell yeah, it is. Uh, let's see. Mason Emma go under the six and a half. Oh, wow, that's rude, but appreciated. Uh, C- country yeah, I- legend Ken Williams is in the house. Ken, how you doing, buddy? New album is going to hit iTunes next Friday. I can, the way he wrote this, I can just hear it. Hey, (laughs) y'all. He's angry, man. He's an angry dude. No, he's happier than hell. I love Ken. I do too. I love his music. What's what's your uh, take on this? You got an issue with this, you said? Yeah, I do. So I think we'll be, we'll be over on the six and a half. I'm not going to sit and just drink purple Kool Aid and say we're going to win the Super Bowl, but we got too many damn good players to be six and a half so whatever our win total is but my issue is with the bears at eight and a half um and really the packers at ten and a half uh the bears at eight and a half caleb williams is going to struggle there's no way about i mean he might be fantastic but i just i i I just don't i don't like that i think we'll i think we'll finish ahead of the bears and the packers i'm not buying that bullshit until jordan love comes and does it again i think they were a flash in the pan i'm not saying they're gonna be bad but uh, I'm I'm not buying that ten and a half. I need to see it two years in a row. Yeah, I agree. To me, the ten and a half for the Packers, I thought was awfully rich. I think a lot of things went right for them uh, last year. Aaron Jones got really hot. Jordan Love was locked in, but then we saw some bad year, uh, Jordan Love as well. So I think that's high for the Packers. Uh, Lions, fine. They're the kings of the north. You can respect them. That's fine. Uh, the Bears, eight and a half. I'd actually, I think they're probably an eight win team next year. I think, I think they they're will an be eight better. win team, but I think we're a nine win team. 
I think we are anywhere from seven to nine. Minimum. That's where I got us. I would I would go higher. I think we win at least seven games again. I think the defense will be better. I just think Brian Flores, he's got better players now. He's got more talent. Maybe he doesn't have like you know the Daniel Hunter. It's he had gonna last be a year, more but, complete. Yeah, it's more complete. And I think you saw what he was working with last year. What he made that do, especially for that three week stretch where they're like one of the best defenses in the league. We shut out the fucking Raiders for God's sakes. I think I think we can get seven wins, even if it's Darnold back there slinging it, or a rookie mm-hmm. doesn't know what the hell he's doing. I think we can get seven wins. T Bass, you know why our defense will be better? Because Ed Donatil isn't here. That's why. <laughs> oh, God, dare so you! We, we should have fired him week one of his first season here. No, we had so a great bad. game against the Packers that year. That day, so bad, such a bad defensive coordinator. Wow, we were praising him though. God, what a what a game plan yeah. he did. I don't think he had anything to do with it. Anything he to do with it. So yeah, I mean these these are these are fine. We'll see what happens. After the draft, we'll revisit these numbers and see what where where we're at. If we have Drake May, mm. uh I think I think it should be like nine and a half. It should Inch be the it. line. And I'm still taking the fucking over. Drake May's gonna come in, throw 40 touchdowns. Fucking, ah, let's go. Ah. Wow. Wow. Uh and some other There's related. Black yeah, you did. You did. Uh, some related Vikings draft news. Uh, we did a video on it earlier, but we're going to talk about it again. Uh, the Vikings set the, pretty much the entire coaching staff to Washington to have a visit and a workout with Michael Penix Jr., Penix Envy, running heavy and hard to the Minnesota Vikings. They sent the whole contingency out there. What do you guys think of that? Uh, the visit to Washington with KOC, Quasi, pretty much everybody. Hey, what do you think? They're like, hey, Michael, how are you? And they just left. <laughs> they just took off. Uh, I love this. I love this. I mean, Michael Penix not be, might not be our guy that we end up with, but uh, man, are they doing the work? Whatever quarterback we end up with, it's not just like they're like, "All right, shit, we got to settle for this guy." Mm-hmm. They're going to know every inch of these guys' body, taint, yes, right inside the cheeks. They're going to know <laughs> everything about this player. So when they take him, he will be their guy. I'm going to make a confession here. I know every inch of one bar's body. I once had to check him for wood ticks. Yeah, we went uh, we went partridge hunting one year, and I was sure there was a wood tick. I said, one bar, this isn't even tick season. He, it he... wasn't. It was uh, <laughs> late fall. It was cold. And Lepagus did check me for ticks. Uh, saw everything. I, I saw your duodenum. I don't know what that is, but I guarantee you saw it. So uh, <laughs> it means nothing. Are they going to look at Williams? Really? You know I don't think so. They didn't meet with them. Yeah. Um, I don't think it means nothing. Like I, I said this in our video. Like We didn't go send a contingency to meet with Bo Nix. We didn't send a contingency to go meet with Lord uh, Duncan Spencer Rattler. Those, those memberships. Not a boy. Thank <laughs> so, you, sir. Uh, I think there's a little bit to this. Like I think that we can maybe take away is that um, I think – He's the fifth option, right? I mean, well, yeah, maybe he's... John meant it means nothing that you check me for ticks. Oh, <laughs> that's what he was talking about. No, I don't. Think I, so. I think it just shows like next in line after the top four is Michael Penix for the Vikings. I think that's the biggest takeaway from this. Yeah, no, I, I just my biggest takeaway is that it's just like, uh, you know, we're we're not set. Like eleven and twenty three staying there is a, definitely a possibility. Mm-hmm. And I got to be honest, the more I think about, like, I want Drake May. I want Drake May so fucking bad. But, like, if we do end up staying at 11 and 23, was it was it Bucky Brooks today? He did a mock draft where we, had, we, yeah. we got Drake May at 11. <laughs> well, Bucky's he, always crazy. He is crazy. But here's the thing. Like, the more I think, like, if we stay at 11, let's say we, like, get whatever. We take a quarterback. But then at 23, Quasey starts getting a little Quasey style. Trades back. Gets a second, gets a third, whatever, and we 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 accumulate some of these picks that we don't have. Like I'm not I'm, that doesn't make me mad at all. I think uh, what was my point here? I was going to say I, I, I think this actually also gives more of a chance that we kind of sit and wait. Like if you like JJ McCarthy and you really like Michael Penix, maybe you just let the board fall out and let it play a little bit, and then maybe you can move up a little bit, and not give up as much. I mean, the Giants, as much as they need a quarterback or maybe want, may want a quarterback, they also desperately need a wide receiver. They could get Malik Neighbors. Maybe Marvin Harrison Jr. falls to him. Roma Dunze. I mean, they can get one of the top three as well. So if that happens, who else has taken a quarterback before the Vikings unless someone else jumps you? And if you really like Penix and if the, you this trip out there 
made you fall in love with them and it's you know jj panics real close to each other why not just sit and wait yeah uh, in the giants met with Penix as well i mean every team that needs a quarterback is meeting with Penix. i still think like if Penix gets if if, if we trade up and whatever i, I think Penix is I, I think he goes to the raiders if nobody takes him i can just picture him i, I can picture him <clears> in a raiders <throat> uniform so damn easy and by the way uh one bar did not have a tick on his Penix. No, I didn't have any ticks because there wasn't any there. I just wanted to show love. I guess what uh, what I'm all about. You tricked me. You pulled the wool over my eyes. I did, did trick him. So next week, I'm going to be Gonzo. I'm going to be off the grid next week. We're going to have Shut some up. special special guests uh, co-hosting with Lupagus next week. So Tuesday, Viking Funeral will be co-hosting with the Lupagus. And Thursday, uh, Alyssa. Alyssa will be joining Miss Lupagus. Alyssa. Miss Alyssa. So uh, they're stepping in. Greatly appreciate it. It's going to be fun. I'm, I'm still going to be watching. I'll be commenting. And maybe, you know what? Maybe you guys can bring me on and you guys can check me for ticks live. No, come on because you're going to have your list because you'll have your phone and that's the best. Yeah, so we got some very special guests. Cannot wait. Ashley is not a fan of Viking Funeral coming on no, whatsoever. It. She'll, uh, she'll be I'm asking sure she'll for, be... for thumbs downs. Aly- Alyssa's very excited. Very she excited. Uh, hopefully. Yep whapping some Miller lights, but uh yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. I already said that I might not even be invited back. It might I think be she's the... gonna she said she's gonna drink like three bottles of Asti on air. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what she told me. I was like, what the hell? Okay. That'll be hilarious. She'll be shit faced. <laughs> I can't wait. I cannot wait. So uh that that'll be fun. It's always fun to have special guests on. Showdown is still horrified by Jaden Daniels elbow. I love the fact that Jaden Daniels had to go out and say like dude my elbow's fine. It's fine. <laughs> On Twitter. All right. We got some more odds. Not just the wins, losses. There's also DK Sportsbook, DraftKings Sportsbook, released updated list of teams who are favorited to land top quarterbacks. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. All right. Got Caleb Williams uh, going to the Bears is a minus 5,000. Is that a bet you're taking? No. Like basically, you have to. Dumbest bet money. ever. Uh, Jane Daniels, the commanders, is minus 130. So those are two, I mean, pretty much seems like locks there. Mm. JJ McCarthy to the Vikings is plus 105. Michael Penix Jr. to the Vikings is plus 250. Bo Nix to the Broncos is minus 150. And the interesting takeaway here, there are no odds on Drake May. Yeah, and uh, we looked at this. So there's no odds for Drake May for any team just because nobody knows what the shit he is going to happen there. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, these, it, it all pretty much makes sense. I mean, uh, um, yeah, I mean, I, I have no qualms about any of these odds. Do you feel relief that Michael Penix is favored more to the Vikings than Bo Nix? Yeah, I, Bo Nix, God, who just did an NFL comp on him and it was so gross. Oh, it was Graham Harrell. No, I wish it was, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to remember right now, but I'm going to try to think about it. But it was it was really bad. Yeah, uh, to me, the, the the big takeaway here is, is the no odds on May. Because I think the Commanders are in play. I think the Patriots are in play. And I think the Vikings are in play for Drake May. So that is why there's no betting odds. Because it's probably split right down the middle. 33, 33, 33. I got to be um, honest. Like I, I'm just fully convinced myself Drake May is going to be a Minnesota Viking. God. He's going to be a Viking. And... and I know McCarthy, there's tons of buzz there, but like I'm everything you just had. I don't I hate to just drink up that mm. weird smoke screen draft Slurp juice. It. But like I think that's gonna happen. I think we're gonna end up trading with the Patriots and Drake May is gonna be a Viking. I know. I, that's what I want to happen. Josh <laughs> McCollins is just gonna be like, just like you brought me here. You have to draft Drake May. I know. I uh I feel the same too. I just, I think everybody feels the same. I, I mean, I, I, I just, it, and, and don't get me wrong. If it doesn't happen, like I'm still going to go to the, the, the thought that they just wanted too much to go up to three. So McCarthy is their backup. Drake may, I think if the Vikings traded up to two, which isn't going to happen, I think they'd still take Drake may. I don't think Jaden Daniels is their guy at all. I think it's Drake may or JJ McCarthy. Yeah. Um, I mean, you you seen uh, what's his chop say that Jaden Daniels can make plays for the Washington Commanders. His head coach in college says that, so I think he may know something. Um, I just think that's done. I think that's a lock, and I, I I agree. I just feel like 
it's the move to make. Like, I think you go to three, you can pick who you want. I think they really truly want Drake May. You got fucking uh, McCown there, who's been his college or his high school coach. He like texts him all the time. Like, those two know each other. It's such a perfect fit. It makes so much sense. And I think it's going to happen. Uh, that is uh, AC Slater. They see fucking Slater. One of the best oh. wrestlers ever to come out of Bayside High. What was his position in the band when they sang that song? I want to say he played the drums. He was the drums. I thought Lisa was the drummer. No, Lisa was a singer. God, come on, man. Actually, she might have had the keytar. <laughs> Did she have the keytar? AC Slater was on those drums. Fucking was he? Nailing it. I'm like 80% sure he was on the drums. All right. I'm sure someone can confirm this in the comments. The, uh, I bet Lord Duncan can. I think uh, so. Yeah, I think, he was, I think he was a drummer. And because I think he did the twirl, and he's yeah, very he might have nice. I think the twirl maybe got me. Uh, God, Delton wants Rattler, not interested at all. What? Who wants Rattler? Delton Vincent, he's eating ice cream with a fork. Jesus, Delton, get some new ice cream. We do not want Spencer Rattler. <laughs> all right, let's let's uh, let's jump into the past. Let's talk a little past Vikings draft talk. And um, this one, this is kind of a different angle, but. I feel like I've actually done better here uh, than trying to love guys and think they're going to be good. But let's talk about some maybe. Hold some on, players. breaking news. Delton says he did not say that. So come on, it's right there. Uh, it, says Del- it says Rattler is the sleeper. Oh, gross! Yeah, All right. that's it. what you said. All right, so let's talk about some Vikings players. When they were picked, we just knew they would suck, and we were actually right. Like, oh my god, we fucking did it. This guy's going to suck. I, I yeah. got three here. Who who was who was somebody that you were just so mad about? Like, it, it, or just like a bad feeling? Like you heard the rumors. Oh, he was the drummer. Matamida, I checked. Matamida and his ten foot dong. Never question one bars say by the bell trivia knowledge. You know, I'm I'm not very cocky about many things, but when it comes to say by the bell trivia, uh, I'm f- very very confident. And just to back it up, there it is. There it is. Looks like he's okay. never played a drum in his life. I don't even know if he has drumsticks. He's playing with his tits. He's doing the tit drum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. we got, we got some right. good ones in the comments already. We got we got Lewis seen Trey Gonzalez knew he was going to suck. Uh, who's that dude? Said Chaz Wonder Surratt. Boy. We got a Troy. No, the thing is with Chaz Surratt, I love Chaz Surratt. You were the I love the f- he, was, he was the former quarterback. They put him a linebacker. He's got all the upside. You know, he just needs a good defensive coach. Unfortunately, we didn't have that. And Chaz Surratt sucked. I, is he a Stealer now? Where is he's he? He's a Jet. Jet? And he's actually uh, the coach loves him. He was a talk of hard knocks. He That's great. Him up. I don't know if he had a tackle. Bradbury, uh, Bradbury, I was, I, I fully yeah, thought he was gonna be good. I wanted yeah, Bradbury. That's a good one for the other one. Treadwell, yep, mm-hmm. Treadwell, Troy Williamson. So you guys, seven you... likes. Hit that like button if you're coming. And let's get over. Uh, let's go over seventy five. Let's go, baby. All right. So players, Vikings drafted. We knew it would suck, and we're right. What's your first one? A lot of are? Treadwells. Matt Khalil. I thought he's gonna be fucking. I thought he'd still be playing. Well, he had, his rookie year was really good. Then it just fell off a cliff. Um, I got uh, well, I'll, I'll, we'll go one. So Give I, me I, one. I, got, I got Chris Cook. Yeah, I got him too. Chris Cook. Uh, I remember, remember that we traded like out of round one to go back in the round early round two, and everybody knew we were taking Chris Cook after we did that. PA was coming on like, hey, we're taking Chris Cook, yep. and we took him, and he sucked. I remember that because we were uh, oh, shopping buddy, at the dollar. Rounder. We were shopping at the Dollar Tree for our uh, draft party that day, and I think I was wearing like, a fake mustache in the store, mm. and um, that came on the radio. I'm like, we were just like both like, no, 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 please, no, don't be true, don't be Chris Cook. And sure enough, we fucking took Chris Cook. It's just a bad. It was a bad feeling, and we were right. He sucked. He was horrible. He had like I remember even like interviewing him. He just had no personality. He was just like flatline. There was just nothing there. And uh, yeah, he was big, but he sucked. <laughs> Yeah, didn't want that. Uh, Toby Gerhardt, that that's a that's a good one. But like, he, I was shocked when we took it. Like nobody boy. thought we were taking Toby Gerhardt. Yeah. We took Prime him. Like, Gene Peterson, he took a lot of running back. Uh, another one I got is Troy Williamson. Uh, again, I remember back yeah. in two thousand five. Some of you guys may be too young to remember, but it was rumored. It was heavily rumored. We traded Randy Moss that year to get 
Napo Harris in the seventh overall pick. I remember talking with Troy Williamson. He was like kind of like this late riser in the process, like a guy who gets hot maybe late March into April. And I, it just felt wrong to me. It felt bad to me. He was small. He was undersized. Yeah, he was fast, but I never had a good feeling about him. We made the damn pick, and I, I hope for the best, but I knew in my heart it would suck, and it did. He was horrible. He couldn't, he couldn't catch the football. How do you scout a guy and not know he can't catch? Yeah, no, I, I think that's a, a pretty – no, oh, that's a good one. Um, I got I got Tyrell Johnson. Yeah, Tyrell Johnson. We got him in round two, and he was in. in when we drafted him, like we just overdrafted him. He shouldn't have been drafted there. And he just uh, he's, some players you get really excited about, and we took yeah. Tyrell Johnson. It was like, what the fuck? We took Tyrell Johnson. Interesting uh, clip or side note here, guys. If you guys go on YouTube and search, um, no, 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 <laughs> no. There's actually no. a video. Nah, about it. Nah. <laughs> Move it along. Uh, when that pick was made. Um, yeah, the last one I have, too, is Christian Ponder. I, I, again, I I had hope. Like, I, I wanted to think he might be okay. Deep in my heart, despite what I might have said in public, I knew he was going to suck, and he did. Ooh, Erasmus James. Tyson Garcia, uh, again, like, that was another one I was really wrong about. I was really excited when we got him. That's the, that's the flip side. That's the next thing we're going to do. Well, uh, my my other one is Renault Smith. Ronald Smith, the linebacker, another one. It was just like second round. The, yeah, it was like what yeah. we just took Ronald Smith. And that's the ones where we, when we draft him, and the even the even the draft experts on ESPN were like, hmm. Not yeah, great. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> like what the hell are they doing? And I, I don't know if this guy was that bad, but I remember when we took Willie off. No, he's uh, bad. Mel Kuyper didn't even have him like in his book. He was, that, even... that, was that the Smith pick? I, no, no, no. Smith was the same, but I think Willie Offer might have been the next year. I was I remember I was in Cincinnati when that happened. Yeah, but and Willie Offered, when we picked him, it wasn't like, oh, he's gonna suck. It was like, who the fuck is this? Yeah. Like and he was actually had, was okay I, I for was a couple excited. years. I just remember like uh, Kuiper was like, I don't know who he is. And he like literally fucking knows everybody. Kellen Mond. There's a Kellen Mond Ooh. sighting. I've seen some Sharif Floyds and Delton Vincent. I'm on your side. Like yeah. he was actually looking really good and then I guess we just he had the worst surgeon, surgeon. ever. Yeah. Uh they're like, I fixed my knee and they put like a new penis on his weenus. He had like a dick hanging right there. God, that'd be fun. What would you do with it? Go for a lot of runs around town in my shorts and just be like, have people be like, What the hell? What the, he's got a full gentleman on thing? his elbow. I'll get it very excited first though. All right, let's do the flip side of this. Players Vikings drafted we thought would be good, but sucked. Ooh. The ooh, flip side. Ooh, thought they would be good and were and absolutely shocker, horrible. I have more here than I had on the other side of this. Willie Beavers. Mm. Ashley, how many likes are we up to? You got to be over 50 by now. I don't Damn, know. You're offensive if it weren't. See him My Levi jeans. Let me hit that refresh I'm button. Down. Booth and scene. Wyatt Davis. Teddy. Oh, Skinny's dropping a Dustin Fox on us. Eh. God, what could have been? We're at 55. He got injured, broke his arm. So he, I'm giving him a pass. He would have been a Hall of Famer. I'm Come giving Martin man. Rucker a pass. 54, we got over 50. Let's get over 75. Hit that like button. Remember, we'll be live during the draft. Also, you guys got to start sending in your videos. One yeah, bottle up yeah. at Gmail. Send in your videos of you guys making your Vikings first round prediction. How about this? First one gets a hat. First, first one who sends in their uh, prediction gets a hat and a shirt. Wow. Doubling up. Doubling if we had up. socks, we'd give you those. Yeah. I know what everybody would do with their sock, though. We should put we should put our faces on some socks. No, they're going to be putting their putting their substance in there. That sounds beautiful. What Lord up? Duncan's on it. Mike Egg, Hughes, head guy rocks. That's Mike Hughes. Well, up against who you got? Oh, let me pull up my list here. I'm gonna, I'm going to go just one here. The first one, Erasmus James. Man, we mm. got a, that was after the Troy Williamson pick. I'm like, oh my god, we fucking blew it. And then we got Erasmus James. I was like, holy shit, Super Bowl. And uh, yeah, he sucked. He was, he was. I think he had like a decent. Did he Weird. hold? No, 
he sucked, and he's he, and then he was on the Redskins like two we years traded ago. him to Washington for like a seventh round pick or something. Yeah, I thought we fucking uh, changed the world when we made him. We got that pick. I couldn't believe he made it to that was like sixteen to eighteen somewhere in that range. I, I thought he was him. nineteen, maybe he was eighteen. Yeah, somewhere in there, somewhere in there. It was like late teens. Well, I got one for you. Yeah, you yeah. ready? I'm gonna freeze on my list. Freaking theatric face on. <laughs> we got theatric face on in like round what was it four or five out of mm. Florida. Uh, I remember I was shit faced at uh, Grizzlies right next uh-huh. to the old Miller Hill Mall. Yeah, belly up, and I was pickled. And it came across the old ticker that theatric face on just declared for the draft. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe he declared for the draft. And then all of a sudden, the Vikings draft him, yeah. and I was so excited. And I don't know, he he never. I think he had like 18 carries. That was that stretch where we um, it's Grizzlies. <laughs> yeah, I had some good times at Grizzlies. That was that stretch where we kept taking mid round running backs. It was uh, Satrick Face on Ontario Smith, Moeldy Moore. They were all in that mix. And uh, I think it was like three years straight, it seemed like. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, videos we me... do April 20th. Sooner the better, wow. though. Wow. Uh, here's the one. Remember the year? I think it might have been 2005. Uh, we wanted Mike Nugent. We had a Nugent meter on our mm-hmm. site. We were all excited. Uh, we didn't take Mike Nugent, but we took Marcus Johnson. We're like, you know what? Holy shit. Marcus Johnson made it to round two. We got a starting guard for the next 10 years. We are set. Our old line is going to be in great shape. I don't know if he ever even fucking started a game for us. Marcus Johnson was No, he ass. did. He started a bunch. He was ass. Yeah, he was ass. Uh, Marcus Johnson was was just full-on cheeks, as Micro Mike would say. Uh, oh. Somebody needs to look up how many games he started because I think he's actually started a handful. I don't remember him ever even playing. So, all right, so he played in uh, – I'll let somebody else look him up. I think he ended up being an eagle, didn't he? I think he was a handful of teams. I, I got uh, I got Marcus McCauley, yeah. the, the cornerback we got in round three that was at sometimes projected uh, to be a round one guy, round two guy. Mm-hmm. We got Marcus McCauley. That was uh, that we thought was going to be beautiful, and, and he turned out to be super bad. I think he went to the Lions, mm-hmm. and I think – I don't even know if he had a stint after that, but Marcus McCauley. Smith Marset. Here we go. Uh, oh man. Oh man was good. He had a couple of good years, right? I mean, he's good. He wasn't he didn't live up to his draft status, but what else you got? I got Laquan Treadwell. I was so excited when we got Laquan Treadwell. Oh, fuck yeah, we were doing chest bumps. We we thought we we were just I don't remember what receiver went before him, but we it was uh Josh Doxson. Oh, he was right. a Viking to, too. to Washington. Yeah. Yeah, when he fell in our lap, uh, we it, we thought we got such a steal. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, all right, I, let's I, just ramble off a couple quick. I got Nat Dorsey on there. No, uh, yeah, Nat Dorsey, another like he's like a fourth round guy. I thought he was going to be fantastic. I had Gerald Hodges, Scott Crichton. Yeah, um, Crichton. Uh, I had Wyatt Davis on mine. We were all so excited. Oh, yeah, Wyatt Davis for sure. Kentrell I, Brothers. I also had Lewis Seen. Lewisine, like I, I love Lewisine. He was one of my boys that year. Uh, loved him, and he just—it's not panning out. It's not happening. Drew Samia, Jaleel Johnson. There's been so many that we've just gotten in those later rounds that just sucked. Who was the uh, D tackle or D end? And he did really bad things, but like he wasn't supposed to be there, and we got him. D end. Who yeah. was Scott? That's Crichton. Crichton. No, he it was a different guy. The, Jalen Holmes? No. No, no. There's something else. I'll think of it later. Willie Beavers, I thought was gonna be fantastic. Drew some me, I thought was, I mean uh David Yankee. Yeah, David. Because I mean, he so was like fine. a projected like late first, and then we got him. And I think that's probably part of this issue is like some of these guys end up falling, which happens every single year. But when you get them. You get these guys who are high profile players later in the draft, it absolutely um makes you excited and it makes you excited for wrong reasons because they suck. Is there still hope though, uh Ramad? Is there really still hope for Lewisine? I don't think there is. I think it's over. A hundred percent think it's over. No way. He's done. Lumbar left and my face is over this comment, so I want to just do a stretch. Scene is a definitely a trash can. Uh Bynum is better. It's true. It's been proven. We've seen it on the field. Hell, I think Theo Jackson is better than Lewis Seen, which took me a while to actually admit that, but it is the truth. 
Um, it's 100% the truth. Scene is done, says Kevin Bullens. I have a hard time arguing that. Puis scene. Orlando Thomas, how dare you, Tim Morris? And how give faith on scene. I don't know. Now these rumors come out that you can't understand the playbook. That is not very reassuring. Uh, again, he was always supposed to be a smart player, a physical player. Uh, but again, he just, it's not working. It's not happening. All mm. right. Where are we at? I think we're almost ready for our draft crush of the week. I'm going to go grab one more delicious tall boy and I'll be right back. So many Lewis scenes. Wow. Look at all these things. Yeah. Orlando Thomas. I loved Orlando Thomas. Uh, just for any newcomers coming in next week, I'll be off the grid. We got Viking funeral joining us on Tuesday. He'll be a special co-host with Lopagus and then miss Alyssa on Thursday with Lopagus. It's going to be fantastic. Can't it's wait. It's going to be fun. It will be fun. Um, Hell yes. So draft crush of the week. Anybody got any new draft crushes out there? Put them in the comments. Do yes. it. And it doesn't have to be new. I mean, maybe it's a guy you saw earlier. I mean, maybe they also now it's the, the, the love has been rekindled. The flame has been re-sparked and you're hot and heavy. You want to talk about that person. Hot and heavy. Give us a draft mm. crush. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, Moan Mac 614. Thank you so much. Moan Mac. Greatly appreciate it, sir. God, that was a horrible fucking pick. Well, that was weird. D. Garcia's here again. D. Garcia, good to see you, buddy. It's Andre Sweet. Sweat man meat. McCaffrey. Mac. Not Sam. Sam Shartman. Sam Hartman won't even be drafted. I don't think so. And if he does, that team should be No, fired. if he does, we're going to um, we got to slam something on here if he gets drafted. If Sam Hartman gets drafted, I'll chug a beer out of your ass. I know. I want to see you do a hard liquor. You got to do like a little thing of fireball. What do you want me to cry? Yes, I do. I drink hard liquor. I cry and I pee. Hey, hey after the draft on Saturday, when we start talking with these undrafted free agents, I'm not going to the bar. I'm going to hang out with one bar. We're going to do a bunch no, of videos. I know I bar. am. I'm not. I'll go there later. I uh, sit here by myself and face. just rip no. well, 10 videos out. Well, because here's the thing. It. In the past, it used to be like the next day you'd see these. And now it's like, it's right away. So I'll stick around. Lickety split. And chop. We'll be I, I'm going to hold you to it. Jalen Simpson. I like him. Boyd, yeah. Boy, absolutely. Uh, McKinley Jackson. Fuck yeah. Viking yep. Funeral. So uh, Jalen Simpson. I haven't really... I, and you mentioned this last week. I thought it was a great point. Like, there's positions we're just not looking at. Like, a tackle, offensive tackle, I haven't really delved into. Doggy style safety, every time. Safety, I'm not looking at it at, at all either, just because I don't think we're going to take one. So, uh, you want to go? Uh, do you want to go first? Yeah, mine's, uh, I've, I've talked to him before. It's Ricky Pearsall. Yeah. God, I love him so much. I mean, it's the wide receiver from Florida. He's all over the place. You see him round three. You see him like round six. He is everywhere. And I think that I think the thing with Pearsall is he's just this very well-rounded receiver. Uh, like he's just going to be a slot dude. He's going to be your number three, and he's going to be fantastic. So to take mm -hmm. him in round two and just be like, you know, his upside's probably like a number three. You're going to be your slot guy. Might be a little rich to take him there, but I think he's going to be so damn good. You watch everything. He just does everything good. Everything good. He's tough, good. fantastic route runner. He's athletic. He makes plays. He's not a burner. You're not going to throw it to him deep. But And he's a great blocker. He just does everything good. So, like, when round four comes and Ricky Pearsall sitting there, it's like, dude, I could have a, a number three wide receiver for the next five years, and he's going to be super good. He doesn't even need to be a number two. Pearsall, go watch him. He's, he's uh, fantastic. He does it all. And I love that he's a fantastic blocker. I think he's going to go round two. I don't, I don't think so. round two. I think he's going to be uh, round two, early round three at best. He's gotten some buzz. He's gotten some recognition. I think he he's going to be. buzz after the senior bowl, but that is no. taint. Uh, here's the thing with Pearsall. Taint? What about his taint? There's so many good receivers in this draft. It's going to bump him down because teams are going to be looking for upside, and he might not have that upside, and I think that drops him down. I, like I think he's round four or five. If he gets to round two, if he gets to round four at 108 and he's on the board, I'll be fucking screaming. He will be there him. in round four. Wow. I don't think so. Delton, he did. I, I know exactly what he's talking about. He'll be there in round four. Wow. 
All right. Uh, I don't agree with that. But uh, my draft crush of the week, uh, I did the uh, NFL roundtable yesterday, NFC North roundtable. Uh, one bar had to pack his suitcase. And we did a mock draft. And uh, it was kind of interesting because it was like we had four teams controlling it. So, like, it wasn't completely automated. And Michael Hall Jr., the defensive lineman from Ohio State, fell to me in round four. I jumped all over it. And the more I watch this guy, the more I love him. He absolutely crushed his pro day, 1.65. 10 yard split, 475, 40. He's 299 pounds, 6'3. He's a big boy, explosive, slippery. He can get off blocks, very, very aggressive. And it's just the energy he plays with. Like, we need a dog. We need an absolute dog on our front line. I actually think Michael Hall Jr. can be that. Um, the, the one thing that's weird, though, like, as, as explosive as he is, as dominant as he can be, there's just not a lot of production. Look at his stats. And you start watching his highlights, like every other play seems like there's a flag on it, which is kind of odd. But this is a guy, if he gets to 108, the Vikings have to take him. I think he can be a, a game changer, a difference maker. I would love Michael Hall Jr. from Ohio State on our defensive line. Yeah. I, Tristan I mean... D. Thank you, sir. Tristan D, what up? I'm sorry, I was looking at something. Vikings will trade up three for May. Hell yes, let's do it. Yes, I just don't believe Vikings make the trade with the Texans without having a partner. Yeah, no, I, I, I hope you are so damn right. Mm -hmm. Michael Hall is just weird. Some people love him. Some people hate him. You see things about maybe some off-field issues or locker room issues, which I don't like. But the, the reason, like, we just have had bad luck with Ohio State defensive linemen, Darian Scott, Scott Crichton. Darian Jordan's. Scott, that's who I was thinking of before. We already said him like three times. No, I, mean, I was trying to think of that guy. It was Darian Scott. Oh, Darian Scott. So mm -hmm. Jalen Holmes, Scott. There was another one. Uh, who was the other uh, Ohio State defensive lineman? I don't know. Who was the Ohio State guy who decided to retire to play video games? Oh, he's a D tackle. Yeah. Uh, his last name started with a P. That's all I remember. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not overly high on hall but i'd be oh, fine with it i wouldn't be excited by any him. means i, I think I, love him. yeah you, i think you need to dig a little bit deeper on maybe not oh. on the field with hall <laughs> i love what i see and on I, the field I, yeah the dude is fucking awesome yeah i think uh yeah i'm just gonna shut up hmm. all right let's go uh, let's go to this next topic here how about uh the vikings pick 108 pickcock, pickcock? what the hell yeah, was it was quinn pincock Pincock, that's what it was. Yeah, he played video games. You wanted to quit football to play video games. All right, do the Vikings at pick 108, do they have to address a primary need there? or can Primary need at 108. So we're yeah. assuming that uh, we're going to trade up, get a quarterback, and don't have another pick until 108. Do we go need or mm -hmm. we go value? Need or value? What do you guys think? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. We've, we've talked about uh, Scott Crichton 18 times. No, it was Daring Scott was the other one. I was <laughs> That's who I was trying to remember. What's AJ's and Beauchamp's? They got something going on. I, I'm trying to... Ed Guy, you're down in Florida, right? I'll be down there tomorrow. I'm going to find Ed Guy. We're going to party. I think he's on. Didn't he just move to California? No, he moved from California to Florida. I'm gonna find Ed Guy Rocks. That mm. Ashley says need uh, Charlie best player available, best on the board. I think we can probably get Quantes Diggers in round seven. I would take a guard at 108 or best tackle D tackle available. You could sign up trade, get into three. I wouldn't be mad about that. Oh, oh, back. Ed Guy, damn you! That's I'll cool. be in California on Monday. A guy will. We'll yeah, he up. is. We'll meet up. Uh, I this is easy for me. It's best player available. Don't care. Don't reach for a need. No, I don't Ho think. You hopefully, have to it matches up. Well, but. here's the thing: like, there could be a very good receiver sitting there. There could be a very good running back sitting there. I don't think you you're tied into a guard or a D tackle, and they could be the best players on the board too at those oh, positions. Most man's but... a creep. He wants to know. He was gonna. He's gonna show up at your house. Ross, you are such a pervert. Uh, yeah, I don't think you have to uh, strictly stick to your positional needs there. I think you can be a little selective and actually maybe even go luxury if you had to. If 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 a Ricky Pearsall is there, mm -hmm. if a Trey Benson's there. Yes, pull the trigger. I mean, 
take them. Take them. It's better than taking some random ass defensive line. I mean, if if the Dwayne Carters are gone, if Christian Boyd's off the board, McKinley Jackson is gone. Don't just reach for somebody. Yeah. Best player available. Ashley is very thankful, and we are as well. Wow. Ashley, thank you for keeping up on that. Uh, remember draft day when we're live, we're giving away a signed Justin Jefferson jersey, what? which are it's already right over there. Uh, I get it. Ashley put together some wonderful one bar and Lopagus is mugs. We got some uh car window decals we're gonna be giving away. Got some happy nuts uh, stuff, and we're gonna be we're gonna be giving away some fantastic things. So uh saddle up. Take Holker in the fourth skull to eight. You need to go to Mulan or something. Take Holker in four. Well, I mean, he's like one round off. I don't want him in four, but I'd love him in five. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's help with this one. How about one player you'll pray? You'll pray falls to the Vikings in the fourth round. You're on your knees. You're just praying. <laughs> Let's see. Comments. Who? I mean, and, and praying means that he shouldn't be there. Mm-hmm. So this can get, we can get weird here. Just when I was wondering, showed up, I guess I was, I thought there was going to be a wood tick on the right inside my butt. Yeah. You told me to look like over and over I and over again. Was there. Oh God. If Fisk is there, funeral, I am not only going to stop the live, I am going to drive to your house and give you a, a shirtless chest bump. We're going live in the fourth round. We're going live the whole goddamn time. Party. It's news to me. Cam Hart, Kyrie Jackson, Ooh. Sweat. Oh, Boswell, you got to have some din din. I, I bet he's having a roasted chicken with rice. <laughs> it's, it's good night, guys. It's dinner time. Panix, round four. All right. Hey, wow. We're praying. Alyssa loves her some sweat. I don't think she's even talking about Tavondre. She's just talking about sweat. <laughs> All right. Sweater heart. Who's yours, Lepagus? Uh, Mine's Tavondre sweat. Uh, and we had Joe Daly on here a couple weeks ago. He mentioned that sweat could fall around four. I know they're lower on them than most people, but uh, the fact he may only be seen as a two down player, I think it actually gives it some legs. It's a possibility. He would be so damn fun. Like just have this big old boy in the middle who can also like, he sticks his arms up. He can bat down passes. He's got some pass rush moves. He's a little more athletic than people give him credit for. I would love it. And I'm going to hope to God that Tavonri Sweat can make the 108. Yeah, I like it would be beautiful. I hope it happens. I think there's actually a good chance it does happen. I mm-hmm. would I wouldn't be I, I would love it. And and sweat was my guy, but round four. Mm. Yeah. I mean I'm trying to get fancier, you but you can so, just go it, with it. You don't have to No, it's sweat, but like like I already said, like like the Ricky Pearsall, the Trey Bensons, I would love everything about that. Um, some sort of cornerback like Cam Hart would be beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, tummy sticks. I'll play tummy sticks with anybody if we get sweat. <laughs> oh my God. I, and you never know. Like, I mean, every year there's guys on the board later than we thought. Who was the cornerback? For Ke- Keely Ringo. Was that last year or the year before? Or he was in Ringo round three? four. And no, he went round four. I'm like, what the hell is Keely Ringo doing on the board? Eagles got him, of course, because he's a Georgia player, but. And that was the guy who Georgia, was like a... Georgia. Are you, are you done? <laughs> yeah, that's it. And like he was like a late first. Like that was the discussion. First, second, and he goes in the fourth. It happens every year. Someone's gonna be there. Someone's gonna fall. I hope it's Devondre Sweat on the Vikings. Get him. All right. So that is primarily our draft talk, but I think one bar, you might have a little something special for us. Maybe a maybe a uh You Wait, just, no, I know you can't just like go like, I mean, yeah, I, I was got, trying I some, to go I slow. Some, no, you didn't go slow. I got some work to do here. I'll go really slow. Who would you do? There it is. Who would you do? There we go. Yeah, get One more. Will you sing Delta, Delta Don for <laughs> Ashley? It'll happen. It'll happen. I just has to come naturally. Usually when I see Delton Vincent commenting, that's when it comes out. So uh, yeah. we'll, we'll see. So for this week's of who would you do? Uh, I tried to get a little creative. Mm. So for this week's Who'd You Do? Thank you, Richard. It's uh, former Vikings that you could take right now and put on this team. So was, oh. there's, there's three of them. And the third one is a full turd. So for, for the first two, they're beautiful. <laughs> they're beautiful, but you got to take this gross turd with it. <laughs> Why? 
Oh, okay. Me, so the third one in the column. I think the third option was a turd. Third one you. in you. the column is a turd. So if we could take the thing, is, you take these guys, you put them on their team, our team, current right roster, now. Okay. right now, in gotcha. their prime, and you get it. You ready? Yeah. Oh, Dolly. Mm. So, Dolly, we got old AP, we got Jared Allen, and we got Demetrius fucking Underwood. Oh, God. Demetrius so Underwood. Not only is he on the team, he's going to make the roster. Oh, shit. I mean, you got two future Hall of Famers there and then Demetrius Underwood. We'll get used to it because there's a ton of Hall of Famers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, there's Dolly. old Dolly. Old Dollywood. Okay. We got a couple already clamoring for Randy Moss's. Well. All right, we got Martha, we got John Randall, Randall McDaniel, <sighs> and Troy Williamson. God, I hate Troy Williamson. I know, but could you imagine J uh, Randall McDaniel being our left guard and John Randall on this defensive line? Yeah, that would be nice. That would nut. be nice. A lot of nut. All right, Demetrius so Underwood might actually be an upgrade at, at end for us right now. No. You have some respect for Jonah Williams. All right, so there is Dolly and Martha, and I know everybody wants Randy Moss. And Randy Moss, wait, wait, is... we got breaking news. What? Breaking Norm Bud sixty seven says we've all done a turd on accident. <laughs> I've, I've act well. We'll talk about that in another episode. <laughs> all right, let's go to the third one. Yes, Randy Moss is here, and oh. Steve Hutchinson, oh, and Christian Ponder. Right. So uh, here, here's my thinking: is I put Moss on here, knowing that everybody's going to be like, you know what, we got to have Moss, but we got Jordan Addison. We got or we got Jefferson. So I, I thought I thought the first two would be a little bit sexy because we're hitting that defensive line, mm -hmm. along with adding some uh, wonderful, wonderful offensive weapons as well. No, this is a, this is a fun scenario. Scenario, some say. I'm created. I'm not seeing many hazels. Alyssa's got a hazel. Yeah. Uh, Martha. Dolly, Dolly seems to be the the hot and heavy one. I'm actually surprised. I thought Dolly was going to come in last. I'm going to think about this while I take a urinal. Jesus, you do a lot of those. Martha. Yeah, a lot of Marthas. Jesus, what the fuck? Moss and JJ can make them. That's actually true. Dolly is pretty. she got pretty mouth. I would introduce Martha to my mom. John Randall and Randall McDaniel. Fuck yeah. Martha for yeah, I I think I think Martha's taking her home. I I'm surprised. I thought Moss was gonna rake in the votes with with old Hutch next to him. Martha, Martha, yeah, Martha. It's not even close. Why would do Dolly dirty? You be nice to Dolly. Dolly is a respectable woman. John Randall by himself would win this. John Randall right there. Boop. I'm dicking down Dolly, Dirk. Well, I, I got to be honest. I'm very surprised. It's down. It, so Martha is number one, no doubt. And then Dolly is number two. But I thought Hazel would be two. I thought Hutch was going to bump up those votes. But uh, you have spoken. Ha Hazel is absolutely disgusting. Hazel is gross. It's not even close. Martha wins, and then really, it's and then it's Dolly and Hazel is last. Hazel's last. That's what I, I'm going with. I'm going with Hazel. Hazel's last, and it wasn't even close. Tristan D. Tristan D. Doubling up. Can't wait for the draft. I just really believe we're trading up with the Pats. Absolutely on draft night. I, I think you're right. Drake May's the guy. I wholeheartedly agree. As long as the Pats agree with it, I think that's the only hang up right now. Now I'm going. I'm Martha's Martha for me. And it's not really close. I mean, Randy Moss is my favorite Viking of all time, but we're not a Randy Moss away. Uh, to put Randall McDaniel at left guard and John Randall on this defensive line, are you fucking kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? Hutchinson, McDaniel is better than Hutchinson. And uh, Moss is, I, mean, I guess we're bumping the Addison in the number three. I'm going to handle because Randy Moss is, um, to me, just... Uh... He's my favorite player of all time, favorite Viking of all time. And I, I can't say no to him. I can't say no to Randy. Well, I'm so, so I'm glad Randy. you're not our GM. Does, does Christian Ponder have to start? No. he's yeah. No. They just have fine. to be on the team. I'll still draft the quarterback. That's fine. 
Who, I'll throw him in the package that I trade up. All right. You got her. But yeah, I mean, this was good though. I mean, this was this was tough. You made some good options here. So um well done, one bar. I'm surprised. I thought Hazel was gonna run away with it. Yeah, no, it's uh dead last. Oh my god. All right. So um does somebody want to come on and one bar's do some trivia, but we need a sponsor. So uh, here's the line. If one bar gets more than uh six correct, you can go higher or lower. You can say if he's going to go higher or lower than six points, he can get points here in this trivia game. Uh, if you want to come on, you can win something. Uh, it can be a hat. It can be whatever you want. It'll be a hat and a shirt. Hat and a shirt if you want to come on and uh, say, is one bar going to get higher or lower? You can pick lower. You can pick higher than six. Points. Are they actually coming on or just putting in the comments? Well, I think someone needs to come on and at least sponsor you. They should maybe even watch you. That's weird. What do you mean sponsor? Like they respond like they hey, I'm one bar's gonna do this. I'm sponsoring him. <laughs> I don't know. Let's be a sponsor. I probably need a sponsor. Lord Duncan wants to do it. All right. So he's just he's just coming on and watching me answer your no, questions. No, he can come on. Just how about you bring him on? We can ask him if he wants to go higher, or lower, and six. Does he believe in you, or does he think you're gonna fail? Well, I'm gonna put this link out here. Whoever the first one is. So I'm answering the questions. You are. And they're saying higher or lower. Six is the line. All right. So here's the line. Here, here's the link. The first person to come on can. Uh, I do not know the topic. I don't know the questions. Confidence is low. Hmm. Viking funeral. Jesus. Viking funeral. The co-host on Tuesday. Wait, how does he know about Madame Mimi? I think I'm overpaying, but I want to book Lopagus in the maid. Ah, I think he must have watched the Lord Duncan episode. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. So, Matamita was the first one hey. to come on. All right. Oh, hold, on, um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What are you holding on for? Uh, Matamita, you are the one who's gonna who's gonna sponsor or do or say hi or lower, but we gotta say hi to Lord Duncan. Lord Duncan, hello. Lord Duncan's in the house. Woo! He's whap, cracking beers, so we gotta bring him on. Our two, you, a couple you, of our favorites. Hey, you cut the you cut the sleeves off, but did you cut off the midriff area? Look at that shirt. Hell yeah, glorious, Lord Duncan. Glorious. Yeah. <laughs> it's always good to see Lord Duncan and Matamita. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got my wide open belly button. I bet that thing smells like roses. I think it smells like monster just cheese. Just came out of the dryer, baby. Oh, just came yeah. out of the dryer cool. and. Uh... You got what? I think he just, I think he just malfunctioned. <laughs> I was right, sorry, the right I'm on two of you. Hold on. I'm on two of you. Sorry, the other one was still on. Uh, hey, thanks for the shout out, by the way. And. Uh, and thank you to uh, good old Harmsy earlier this week, as well as uh, Viking Fino for going on my show last night. Mm. Hell yeah. Duncan, good to see you, buddy. Everybody, be sure I know to subscribe Monami to wants Lord to Duncan Rock and Roll. So send me an email, Monamidai. Hell yeah. Go on the show, Monamidai. All right. All right, Monamidai. I don't know what we're doing, but what are we doing, Lapagus? All right, Monamidai. Here is what's going on. So this is a multiple choice deal, but if one bar can guess it before multiple choices are revealed he gets two points if he gets it right with a multiple choice he gets one point there's five questions it's just straight up trivia do you think he'll go higher or lower than six points higher i have faith in him he's gonna do it, he's gonna oh, oh, it. God. Oh, oh, oh. a lot of pressure wow, wow. all wow. right well so if we get it right uh Monomita, you get a so you're going higher you get a you get a hat and a shirt uh, one bar, or you can also shirt. get a balber. I'll say, yeah, whatever you want. If you got tons of pubes, Chris indeed just keeps throwing out that <laughs> yeah, cheddar. What's going on? I think the reason why Vikings haven't pulled the trigger yet is because Daniels might be the Patriots guy. All right, all right, I like that. All right, um, all right, Monomita, you can, I mean, can he help you? No, he can stay, he can stay right there. Okay, but every time he gets one right, you have to take off a piece of clothing. Jesus, okay. I'm just kidding. I'm just. Kidding. How many questions are there? <laughs> There's five questions. 
I need right, over we... six. He took over six. So if I get it right without a multiple choice, two I get points. two points. All right, let's right go. With, okay, so the category is Vikings drafts from 2005 to 2010. All right, let's go. You got this. Thank you, Matamidi. <laughs> All right, here we go. What running back did the Vikings select in the fourth round of the 2005 NFL draft? I'm pretty sure he said his name. What is his name? It's either face on or Ontario Smith. So if I answer without the multiple choice, I'm just done. No, you, no, you can still get multiple choice. <clears throat> I think it's Ontario Smith. Final answer. <clears throat> Sorry, Marty. Your, <laughs> your multiple choice <laughs> options are now Weldy Moore, <laughs> Ben Tate, or Siachik face on. Well, it's m- more. It's Weldy Moore. Yeah. It was theatric face on. Oh, shit. I thought I answered. Uh, I thought I said face on for the first question. No, this, you're this wrong. is embarrassing. Monomita, Zero points. He I'm went higher. He had anyways. faith in you. Max points he can get right now is eight. This All is right, let's go. Let's go. All right, question two. The Vikings trade the 17th pick of the 2018, <clears throat> 2008 draft to acquire Jared Allen. Who ended up being selected in that spot? Oh, shit. I have no idea. Give me the multiple choice. Oh, actually, right. hold on. Hold on. You might as well guess. It's free. Dwayne Bow. <clears throat> Wrong. All right. All right. We got A, Brandon Albert, B, Jeff Ota, C, Dominic Rogers Cromartie, or D, Gosder Cherilis. Oh, my God. I'm going to get so many wrong. What was the first one? I'm taking Brandon Albert. That's who I thought it was, but that is incorrect. The answer is Gosder Cherilis. The Chiefs <laughs> actually trade up a couple spots to get Brandon Albert. That's too tricky, man. You're this getting is a too horrible tricky. start. Stupid. This is a horrible start. <laughs> That's stupid. Uh, but you got a chance to. Uh, the line was six, right? So you can still push. If it's a push, we'll give we'll give Montemidi something. It's I'm not going to get any of these right. Go. You <laughs> that you, first you one, get it. I stepped on my dick on the first. Yeah, one you got I, it right. In the, in the I thought I said face on for the answer. No, you said more. I know. I for Smith. the first one, I thought I said face on, but I said fucking Smith. All right. In the 2006 NFL draft, the Vikings took linebacker Chad Greenway with a 17th pick. Who did they select next at pick 48? I have no idea. Picturing a really gross cornerback, Chad Greenway. What year? 2006. I was passed out shortly after this pick was made. Ooh. A lot of yag bombs that day. I'll say Tavares Jackson. Tavares Jackson is your answer. That is wrong. That is wrong. Multiple choices. A, Cedric Griffin. B, Toby Gerhardt. C, Ray Edwards. D, Ryan Cook. Sorry, Mata I... Okay. I want to. I, I want to say Ryan Cook. Um, Monomita, do you want to sway him one way or the other? I'll. Um, I I would if I could, but. What were what were the what were the answers? So the fact that you tried to get Monomita to sway me, I'm going to say that Ryan Cook is definitely not the answer. <laughs> I'll say. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, what, what were the answers again? A. Cedric Griffin, which we all right, I'll go. I'll go. Griff Daddy. Remember when we met his cousin at the Griff Daddy. Camp? I, it's Griff Daddy. It is Cedric Griffin. Hey, one bar's on the board with one point. One Woo! point. Man, this is rough. This is rough. I this thought is... you'd be just nailing this. All right, you ready? Yeah. The Vikings drafted quarterback Tyler Thigpen in the seventh round of the 2007 draft. Where did he go to school? Oh shit. It was blue, wasn't, wasn't it? Blue. Tyler Thigpen. I don't know. I don't know. Give me the multiple choice. Florida International, Coastal Carolina, Alabama State, or East Carolina. Jesus, you couldn't even like just. These are really hard. I, this was no. This was actually he was. Uh, I think the first player ever drafted from the school. Say it again. Florida International, Coastal Carolina, Alabama State, East Carolina. I, this is East Carolina. 
Ah, you're so close. It was Coastal Carolina. <laughs> All right, here's the last one. So it doesn't uh, matter. Can this be worth? Can this be worth five points? Monomita, if you can, if you can get this right, you can still win something. All right. Okay. It's you against one. It's you against one bar now. Here we go. Who was the last person the Vikings drafted in the 2009 NFL draft? Could these be any fucking harder? You were I mean, supposed to be a draft guru. 2009 was 15 years ago, and I'm supposed to know the last player drafted that's 15 what we years did. ago. We lived the shit. Holy! If, shit. That, if that's too old for you, you think it's you, you think it's you think I'm these, that, these are ridiculous questions. I'm sorry. How okay? I'll, I'll go. Drafted. I'll go right to multiple choice. Jamarcus Sanford, Ryan Dimperio, Jay. I don't Mark even Johnson. give a shit. Or Chandler Williams. It wasn't Chandler Williams. All right, keep um, going. I'll get this. Uh, um, mm. DeMarco is a sample. How about you work together to figure it out? Well, give me the give me the thing again. DeMarco Sanford, Ryan Dimperio, Jamar Johnson, Chandler Williams. I can't believe I was supposed to know this. God. The multiple choice would have helped. Ryan, I, I believe old Rye guy was a seventh rounder. Uh, I think Matamita might have said it. All right, Matamita, what do you got? I, I think it was the um uh, uh, Stanford, Demarco St- Stanford, whatever. Jamar- He's going with Sanford. Jamarca Sanford. Yeah. Do you agree, one bar? Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with Matamita if my life depended on it. Matamita is correct. Yes. Oh. All right, he wins. He's getting the shirt and the hat. Absolutely. I, I did very bad. Very bad tonight. <laughs> it's okay. I would trust you 10 out of 10 times if we did this again. Wow. I, mean, I, I really appreciate that. That's why I love you, man. It's good to see you. You're going to, hey, g- give us a, what, what's your hope in round one for the Vikings? Vikings trade up, get their quarterback of the future. It's about time we did it. They've never done it. It's about time they, to take a swing on that top quarterback in the draft and just stop hoping someone that follows will work out. Wow. Who, who, who do you want? Who is, who's it going to be? Uh, Drake, uh, Drake, Drake Mayer, Dan. I think I'm more leaning towards Drake, Drake. May oh, now. I think Drake boom. May's the guy. Hell yeah. I'm on. I mean, I good to see you, buddy. We're going to send you some shit. All right. All right. Looking forward to it. All right. Good to see boom. you, buddy. Wow. Monomina, I just made me spill my seed in my well, pants. I made them hard because this is like this is like our this those is our were here. Hey, 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 I'm not I'm not making excuses. I I really stepped on my dick. Those are really hard. Well, the face on one you should have had because you, you talked about. I, the well, okay. the thing with the face uh, that was on me. I I thought I said face on uh, because I had it down to those two, and I just like I said, just drank too many Miller Lights. Isaac Ackley would like a one bar and love like a speedo. Can we make that happen? Absolutely. It'll be uh, previously worn as well. Monomita, I always good to see him. We're going to send him a hat and a shirt. Absolutely. Whatever he wants, within reason, God. we'll send it to him. Yeah. Uh, all right. That pretty much wraps up this edition of Horned Up. Again, I'll be on with Viking Funeral on Tuesday for Mocked Up, and then next Thursday with Miss Alyssa, the Vikings therapist and the madam of positivity. The madam the of positivity. Uh, appreciate everybody. Lord Duncan. Moan Mac, Tristan, and Tristan D, D again. Viking Funeral. Appreciate it again. all the support. Tristan D again. God damn it. Vikings aren't doing a pre-draft visit. Yeah, maybe that's smoke. We'll know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Appreciate everybody hopping on. Hit that sub button. We'll be hot and heavy all week. And remember this. Wenzel's Farm in Marshfield, Wisconsin mm. created the world's biggest meat stick. Mm. How big do you think it was, one bar? Biggest meat stick? Oh, I know that. Uh, 14 feet. No, it was 314 feet. So you got part of it. You're off by 300. That's stupid. It's delicious. Too big. It's too big of a meat stick. Not for me.